So hopping into Expert Agent onto a standard property record, we're going to look at producing and emailing a standard letter, which is a bit of a recap from the introductory training. Before we actually get into the recap, I just want to introduce you to the template grid. So on the action menu of a standard property record, down near the bottom, you've got letters, emails, SMS, create letter, email and SMS. The first tab you come on to is the R Letters tab. These are letters that you have created yourselves, may have been created for you already, or you may be in the process of creating your letters for your company, in which case this tab may be blank. If you've got the correct permission set, which you will need to create letters and brochure templates, you will have Edit, Clone and Delete in the left-hand column. The Template Name column will give you the chance to look up your templates using the wildcard feature. The template type, now Expert Agent directs you to which template type it thinks you're going to use depending on where you are within the system. So it's really important that you set the correct template type when you create templates. If you're part of a multi-branch firm, you will have access or may potentially have access to other branches templates from here as well. And you can share your templates with other branches if you want to. We've got a format column as well where we've got Word, HTML or SMS. Now on this session we are looking at the Word format. On the Expert Agent default letters are letters that we have created for you. Now you can clone these if you need to and I'm going to show you how to do that later on. In the left hand column you will just have clone, you've then got template name, type, you do not need branch or share from this screen and you've also got the format column again. The compliant letters and agreements are available for lettings. If I change the template type to all types here, you can see we've got 141 compliant and documents available for you to use at a cost of £15 per month per branch. These are supplied by the Letting Centre by Letlink. They are 100% insured and compliant documents. If you do want to have those turned on, then you will need to speak to your account managers regarding that. So generally by default you will be using the R Letters tab to create your letters, however I am going to be using the Expert Agent Default Letters tab because I'm going to be using one of our letters to just show you how to create a standard letter. So on the template grid, click on the name of the template. This will open up this screen here, which you leave open. Do not close this screen. Down in the bottom, if you're using Chrome, you will get the download. Clicking on the download will open up that document within Word. So we've got our property reference in here, we've got our date, the vendor details, the property address, the price of the property and the negotiator who's created the letter. Now at this point we can add further information into the letter if there's any information that we wanted to add that isn't included in the standard template. Once we've added that information in, as always, with every single letter you create in Expert Agent, if you've made a change to it, file and save as. So I'm just going to save this onto my local hard drive. I just find it easier to find later on. So clicking on desktop and giving it a name. Now at this point we could of course file and print and pop it in the post if we wanted to but if we are wanted to send it via email we can just close down Word and on this screen always remember to upload any documents that you have made a change to. So pressing select, going off to your desktop and uploading the letter that you've just created. This will store the correct letter on the events tab of the property or whichever record within the system you're creating a letter from. But it will also, when you click the send as email button, will create a PDF attachment for you, attach it onto the email, and it's the letter that we changed. So it's the updated letter rather than the one that it originally created. So we can change the subject from here. We can set the recipient from here. We can also change the file name if we want to as well.
The body of the email will also automatically put in the vendor salutation and your logos in it and pressing send email down at the bottom will send that email out to your vendor. Press OK and then close.